blending in this area right here between the uh, lower outboard cowl and the, uh, the wing and the um, augmenter exit turned out to be the key to the whole thing. Um, and I think we've got a really nice shape starting to take form here. Um, there's obviously some missing foam in places, but uh, I'll either fill that in with foam or with uh, drywall compound. Um, you know, there's no getting rid of some of the aggressive curves, um, but I think we minimized them to one area and in one direction, which I think will be helpful. And it's after the um, trailing edge of the wing, so it's really the only thing that's that's uh, retreating and taking changing shape at that point and uh, becoming smaller. So um, hopefully that'll help us out. Well, this lower cowl certainly has taken me a lot longer than the top cowl has. There's a lot more going on as you read about in the blog, but uh, I think we're getting pretty happy with what we've got going on here. Um, I have to keep reminding myself that this is the station wagon, not the sports car, so the larger fuselage shape doesn't lend itself to the uh, um, aerodynamic lines that a uh, long easy would, for example. Um, but I think we've done the best with what we've got. I'm pretty happy with it. We got it into drywall mud today for this half. Of course, it's only half. Um, we're gonna end up having to match the uh, left side, or excuse me, the right side. Um, we're gonna have to end up matching the right side to the left side. Um, and there's still a lot of work to do with that. And it's going to be significantly more challenging to do that with all of the different curves that we have but uh, I'm really pleased with the way it's coming out, um, and I think it's gonna be a, uh, certainly a unique cowl.